CSE to conduct open book exam trials in English, mathematics, science for classes 9 to 12 soon, says no plans for. Teachers from Himachal Pradesh to visit Singapore on education visit. Bihar government discontinues intermediate classes in colleges from 1st April. IIT Guwahati launches drone pilot training organization. University of Canberra and Cricket Act launch cricket coaching in India. Good afternoon, warm welcome. You are watching the Education News Network where you get the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Shilpa reporting from the Education News Network. Today's stories are The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE, is considering piloting open book exams, OBE, for classes 9 to 12 in selected schools, focusing on subjects like English, Mathematics, and Science for lower classes, and English, Mathematics and biology for higher classes. The initiative aims to assess higher-order thinking skills and problem-solving abilities while allowing students to refer to their notes and textbooks during exams. The pilot program, planned for November to December 2024, will evaluate completion times and gather feedback from stakeholders. As part of the International Tour for Teachers program, over 100 teachers from the state will visit Singapore for five days. The teachers will be on a state mission to become familiar with new technologies in the education sector. The trip will allow them the opportunity to get acquainted with new methods of teaching. Launching the program, Suku said that in the first batch, 102 teachers selected from across the state will leave for Singapore on Saturday. The Chief Minister also gave the teachers foreign two kits. The second batch of 98 teachers would be sent abroad on 15th March. News agency PTI quoted the minister as saying that English medium would be introduced from class 1 in government schools from the next academic session. T. The Bihar government announced it was going to discontinue plus 2, intermediate, classes being held in colleges affiliated to various universities in the state. In a notification issued late on Wednesday evening, the Education Department said that while such classes had been discontinued in Patna University about a decade ago, the same will cease to be held at colleges falling under other varsities from the academic session beginning in April this year. According to the notification, intermediate education, in all three streams, arts, science and commerce, will now be imparted only in higher secondary schools from the new session. The department also said the delinking of intermediate, plus two, from colleges has been recommended in the universities. IIT Guwahati has collaborated with Edure, a drone pilot training school, to launch India's largest remote pilot training organization, RPTO. The primary objective of this RPTO is to promote the advancement of drone technology in India. IIT Guwahas claimed it to be the largest drone pilot training organization in India, spanning across 18 acres and boosting the capability to fly nine medium-class drones simultaneously. Initially, the RPTO will introduce a DGC-certified medium-class drone pilot training course, which will be tailored to enhance the skills of youth in North East and other regions of India. It will also cater specifically to women from self-help groups (SHGs) engaged in agriculture. The agreement was signed by University of Canberra Interim Vice Chancellor Professor Lucy Johnston and Cricket Act CEO, Olivia Thornton at the Jamia Millia Islamia University ground in New Delhi. According to a press release by Study Canberra, the partnership aims to bring an international perspective to cricket education in India, levelling the playing field especially for girls and women in cricket, and creating opportunities for cultural exchange. With cricket deeply entrenched in the sporting scenes of both India and Australia, this was a great opportunity to engage in this shared passion. We hope this initiative will help to empower young cricketers in India with the aptitude needed to excel both on and off the field. That's all for today. 
Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to our website www.educationnewsnetwork. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.